Big changes with Google Workspace for Education. In today's video, we look at the different editions of Workspace now available, what has changed, and how does this apply to teachers? Let's dive into it with another flipped classroom tutorial. Now, today has been a huge day for anyone using G Suite for Education or part of the Google Networks. Why? Because we had our big online conference. Learning with Google has announced four new editions of Google Workspace. Now, what is Google Workspace? Well, Google Workspace for Education is the rebranding of G Suite. We're no longer using G Suite, we are now calling it Google Workspace for Education, and we have four editions. Now, we're going to be looking at all four offerings. Well, the first one is the current G Suite for Education, and this is now being branded Google Workspace for Education Fundamentals. Fundamentals is completely free. You keep getting all those features that you love and use every single day. And there's a couple of minor changes which we'll discuss later. Then there are three new premium tiers. Now these are paid tiers and these are different ways that your school can get additional features to use within the workspace ecosystem. The first one is the education standard. Now this one comes with a lot of additional security features, some advanced device and app managements, and it allows you to perform additional audits. You also have a Gmail log and a classroom log, and there are more features coming in the future. The next one is a special upgrade. Now this upgrade is very specific for teachers and it's called the teaching and learning upgrade. Now the teaching and learning upgrade, this will add feature sets to different applications such as Meet, Classroom and others. Now some of the features part of the teaching and learning upgrade are unlimited originality reports, there are some additional features for Meet such as polls and Q&As, assigning students into breakout rooms even before your meetings have started. We also see features such as mute features and extra additional features that are coming later on that are going to enable you to have add-ons with Google Classroom. There's a full overview of the announced updates in the links in the description below. Now I've linked out to the updates for Meet, updates for Classroom, Chromebooks. There's a whole range of different updates that have been announced, over 50 different ones. And then the final version that we have, it's the all-in-one. It is the Google Workspace for Education Plus. Now the Google Workspace for Education Plus includes these two other premium tiers. So this includes the teaching and learning upgrade as well as the standard upgrade. Putting these together has the full feature set of all the available Google Workspace tools. Now let's scroll down and have a look at how these four editions compare with each other. Now I'm going to open up the page that compares not only the pricing, but also the different features. So here you can see we have an overview of the pricings and the first one, Fundamentals, is currently still free and will remain free forever. Then we have the $3 per student per year and this is the education standards, the security features updates. Then we have the teaching and learning upgrade and finally the education plus. The Google Workspace for Education Plus account is what we previously called G Suite Enterprise for Education. This one comes in at $5 per student per year. Now scrolling down, you'll see that there are a number of different features for all four of these versions. Docs is available for all of these versions, sheets, slides, forms, classroom, all the features we love. Now within classroom, you will notice that here we have the first distinct difference. Assess progress from anywhere is available for all four. However, third party application add-ons, which is something that is coming soon, is coming to the teaching and learning upgrade as well as the education plus upgrade. This will not be coming to the fundamentals upgrade. We also have originality reports and the fundamentals is limited to five reports per class. Now, originality reports allow you to find plagiarism or instances of plagiarism where content has been copied over without proper citation. Now, the teaching and learning upgrade as well as the education plus upgrade allows you to run unlimited reports as well as peer comparisons. You can have your students work compared to each other and you as a teacher are notified of matches that are found in those documents. As we scroll down, assignments is available to everyone. And again, those originality reports are going to be what's different. Sites is still available to all different versions. Groups is available as well as Gmail and Calendar. 
Now meat is another place where we see some big changes. Now here you can see the fundamentals can have up to 100 participants. Once we get up to the teaching learning upgrade as well as the education plus, we can have up to 250 participants. You can also dial in access to meetings. This is US only and the plus version will be international as well. Further down, you will see there is no in-domain live streaming for fundamentals or standard. However, the upgrade and the plus version, they allow you to live stream up to 10,000 with the upgrade or 100,000 if you have the education plus version. As we scroll down, you see that also there are temporary recordings for the fundamentals, whereas the other versions have those recordings stored on drive. We can keep scrolling down to see more differences. And here we see some features that will not be coming to fundamentals and standard. This is, for example, polls and Q&As, breakout rooms, attendance tracking, noise cancellation. All these are coming to the plus and the teaching and learning upgrade only. Then we have cloud search. And this is another big one, storage. Up to this day, we had unlimited storage for educational domains. That is going away. There is no more unlimited storage. This is now 100 terabytes of pooled cloud storage. Now, this 100 terabytes of pooled cloud storage is the same for everyone. So you can see here we have 100 terabytes of cloud storage. The standard is getting 100 terabytes of pooled cloud storage. But once you get to the upgrade, the teaching and learning upgrade, as well as the education plus, we have 100 terabytes of shared as well as 100 gigabytes per license. The plus version has 100 terabytes of shared as well as 20 gigabytes per license. So this shows you how storage is handled very differently, starting with the rebrand of G Suite into Google Workspace for Education. So unlimited storage is no longer part of this offering. We're going to scroll down further and see what else has been changed about this. So let's go ahead down. We have some faster response times for the plus, the security center. You can see we have prevent threats and automate that monitoring part of the standard as this is the additional admin features I mentioned earlier, as well as plus. We have some security investigation tools, very much admin specific, and then e-discovery. This remains the same, e-discovery still available for everything, admin tools, as well as many of the others. Now then when we come to the device management, as you can see, these are all part of the plus and the educational standard version. Standard has a focus on admin. So you can see we have advanced mobile device management, cloud identity premium, content aware access, etc., etc. And that's it for the four new editions of Google Workspace for Education. So to summarize, Google Workspace for Education fundamentals, still free, remains free. It is the same as the G Suite for Education you are currently using. Many of the features will stay the same and the only one that seems to be removed is the unlimited storage. This is now 100 terabytes of pooled storage. Then we move on to the standard version, which is very much admin focused. So this is what your admins will be looking at and it has increased security features. Then we have the teaching and learning upgrade. This adds a whole bunch of features to the various apps and many more have been announced and are coming to the workspace accounts. You can find even more information by clicking on those links down below. And then education plus includes admin tools as well as feature upgrades. This also includes additional storage and that's the same for the teaching and learning upgrade where you have that 100 terabytes of pooled or shared storage and then an additional number of gigabytes. Now, I hope this video cleared up a couple of things of all the big announcements we saw today. Now, if you want more information, there are links down below. Now, I've also added a link to a little calculator by Apps Events, and that's in Google Sheets, and it allows you to quickly calculate how much an upgrade would cost you at the moment if you were to decide to go with the Education Plus account or any of the other offerings. Now, I hope you found this helpful. If you did, make sure to subscribe to the channel, leave a comment down below, how do you feel about this rebrand and this new shift in Google Workspace and moving away from G Suite? I'd love to hear your comments in that comment section below. In the meantime, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.